Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy A Styles, and yeah, yeah, you read that correctly. The PlayStation 5 is real. And now I get it, I get it. We have heard rumors and speculation from all across the internet. But in a recent report from Kotaku, and I'll link the source in the description, but the news editor from Kotaku had talked to several sources and game developers about a potential PlayStation 5. The report states that a recent online rumor got people buzzing about a possible 2018 release. But that's probably not going to happen. In fact, from what we have heard, the next PlayStation is a ways away. It may not arrive until 2020. With that being said, the reporter goes on and he states, Over the past month, I've spoken to dozens of game developers across a variety of disciplines and studios about the next generation of consoles. One of those, two people said that they were directly familiar with the plans for Sony's new console. Those two people both told me that the next PlayStation is unlikely to release in 2019, let alone 2018. So we know that they are looking at 2020 as a possible release date. But here is a significant part of that paragraph when the source states, to be clear, that these plans are always shifting. On a multi-year project, a lot can happen to shift schedules both forward and backwards. One person said, at some point, Sony had probably looked at every possible date. However, it's all about what they think is the best spot in terms of hardware. A surprise move by Microsoft or another competitor, for example, could trigger a change in plans. So they're still formulating on what's the best release date. But it's interesting because now it's like, well, we know it's coming, but what about the specs? And with that also being said, there was also rumors that and reports that some studios already have dev kits. One source talked about how the term dev kits are not always what they mean and don't always necessarily mean that it's a full scale product. As he states, the term can be misleading. To say that the PlayStation 5 dev kits are out in the wild could mean several different things. Super early dev kits are often PCs with GPU and GPU. He's referring to the processor and graphics card of the future machine. Early development kits may not even resemble a PlayStation at all, but that's that we already know. We already know that most dev kits are usually just clunky boxes with a wired controller. We get that. We get that. I mean, we've seen it from all the other earlier dev kits. But when we think about a next gen console, because we just got the mid mid generation upgrade for the Xbox One X and the PS4. But I'm, I'm really interested in the specs. So I did some digging and an article from Push Square went into detail about the possible specs. Now, this is all speculation here on out. This is not from the Kotaku article, but it states a technology news site by the name of Semi-Accurate, not an encouraging start at all, but it claims to have first dibs on some of the specs and other details about Sony's next generation console. Locked behind a thousand dollar subscription, which is crazy, but hey, it's the internet, so naturally someone has summarized the key points for the masses to see. So according to this, the PS5's architecture will be based on AMD Navi, but may not use Navi specifically. AMD Navi is a new GPU that focuses on scalability, which suggests it will be easy to upgrade over time. The CPU will be Zen, which is another AMD product. Semi-accurate also suggests that the VR features will be built in at the silicon level, building all the extra hardware needed for the PSVR into the PS5 and supporting it. So, again, interesting. Very, very interesting. AMD, that's a good start. Um, I do not know much about the AMD Navi. I know it's fairly new, but it's all its all just speculation nowadays. And, you know, besides the Kotaku report, we know that PS5 is real. We know that everything here is gearing up for a new generation console. My problem here is, is that there was a report earlier, a mixture of reports, that the PlayStation 5 would not be backwards compatible. Many times when they say that it's because that the upgrade from the PS4 and the PS5 will be tremendous 
meaning that PS4s won't be able to play games on the PS5. I know GameSpot uh, misinterpreted the original Kotaku uh, article and they had their own beef on Twitter and that was fairly interesting, but here's the, here's the news. The PlayStation 5 is real. Is it going to exceed expectations? I have no idea. There's a lot of people who are looking for a new console and there's a lot of people who are fairly happy with the PS4 Pro. So I don't know guys, It it's interesting, I'm excited about it, but what do you guys think? Are we ready for a next gen console in the year 2020? Do we what what are we looking for? What do we want? What what do we need? What do we need for Sony to say, "Hey, you know what? I like this." But anyways, guys, this is just a bit of bit of news that I give you guys today. Uh, I thought it was interesting and I wanted to bring it to the table. Um, like and subscribe. Thank you for following me. As always, you guys take it easy. I'll catch you guys next time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother.